So our company was founded by, um, by a husband and wife team, actually, uh, named Ed Allen and Mimi Schultz. And they started Fantasy Theater up in upstate New York back in um, the mid-1970s, around 1977. Uh, they had the idea that they would like to form a traveling company uh, that does work for children and families. So um, they packed up into their van and they left their jobs as teachers. They were teachers at the time uh, in New York. And they traveled all around the country uh, doing uh, street performances. Uh, their skills were rooted in circus and in movement and commedia dell'arte and dance. And so that's, those are really the origins of our company. Um, they traveled all around the country uh, and eventually all around the world. Uh, they settled here in Miami um, in 1982. Uh, we were incorporated as a not-for-profit uh, company. And since that time, Fantasy Theater has been uh, performing for children and families uh, all across South Florida and across the state of Florida. Um, all of our shows have something uh, educational in them, uh, whether it's a message about preserving or protecting the environment or about uh, encouraging kids to read more um, or encouraging self-esteem or, or discouraging bullying. There's always something in the shows that has that, that message to it. Um, so that's really, that's the start of our company. That's where we got started. And um, obviously from there, we've, we've grown and expanded and a lot of new things have come along. Um, but that's where we started, just with, uh, with our founders, uh, Ed and Mimi, um, traveling around the country and eventually landing here in Miami. We have changed a lot, obviously. The company is more than 40 years old. Um, one of the biggest changes is that when we started, we were solely a touring organization. Uh, we did not have a home base uh, to present performances in. So that's the major change, uh, which is, you know, a few years back, um, we were offered the opportunity to partner with Miami-Dade County with this beautiful facility, the Sandra L. Rivers Theater, uh, and we were offered the opportunity to, to expand our programming. The Sandra L. Rivers Theater is really a gem in our community. Um, it's a 25,000 square foot facility uh, that has multiple spaces. Uh, what we're in right now is the Black Box Theater. That's our main stage and that's about a 200 seat uh, theater. And the really exciting thing about it being a black box is that it can transform for whatever we need it to be. Uh, right now we're in proscenium uh, configuration, but it can be theater in the round. It can be you know stadium seating. It can be whatever we need it to be. Uh, and then we have these other wonderful spaces. We have our dance rehearsal studio. Uh, which is a small performance space. It's got that great dance floor. It has um, a light grid that we installed, um, a big barn door that opens up into the lobby. Uh, we have our multi-purpose room, which is great for hosting meetings and uh, even smaller performances. It's got a, a built-in uh, projector and screen. So we have all these great spaces um, and it's really, it's a resource for this community. You know, we are here in Miami in the Liberty City neighborhood and the, the building has been uh, activated for the use of the entire community. So we may have a, a touring presenter in here one day, we might have a local congressperson in the next day doing a, a town hall meeting. There's always something new and different going on uh, at the Sandro Rivers Theater and that's really the vision. Uh, the vision is for this to be a home of the arts and of community uh, here in Miami. So uh, when I started at Fantasy Theater, I was actually uh, a young actor. It's been, I've been here for about uh, more than 15 years now. And um, I, I like to tell people I came in, I auditioned, and I was not hired. So I started Fantasy Theater Factory as a volunteer, actually. Nine years ago, I uh, came through the doors of FTF and for one entire year, I was the volunteer who helped them with props, costumes, uh, sets, fixings, uh, little things here and there. I started here at Fantasy Theater Factory about five and a half years ago. Uh, realistically speaking, I've been a part of the team a lot longer than that. So I joined a Fantasy Theater Factory in 2015. And at that time, I was working at another um, performing arts center, and that's basically my background. I've worked in diff different theaters and different performing arts centers. Persistence pays off, and I came back and I auditioned uh, again, and thankfully uh, I did get cast in a show. And little by, by little, I started to uh, have more responsibilities in the company. I started to help with marketing. As a working industry professional, 
I've run into Fantasy Theater Factory several times in several different locations, and they've always represented the things that I represent, family, education, and it's always about the fulfillment of personal satisfaction, meaning that if you pick up your trash, then you can clean up after the universe and take care of yourself. So there's always a message tied into the programs that they present and I've always appreciated that. And a good friend of mine um, told me about this position. He was actually vacating the scheduling director position and he told me that, you know, I'd really love it and I'd love the people and he did such great work. So I came in, I interviewed with our CEO, Larry Fields, and it felt like it was a, an instant click. I've been with the team ever since and I love my job. Little by little, um, more opportunities kept arising and um, uh, our founders, uh, Ed and Mimi, they asked if I'd like to start working in the office, and I said, uh, sure, that sounds like fun. Uh, and so I, I did. And, um, you know, just over time, um, I found that I really connected with what it is that we do here. It was really meaningful for me. It was, um, I always say, you know, the, the luckiest place you can be at is when coming to work doesn't feel like you're, you're going into work. Uh, it's just something that you really love and enjoy doing, and that's what this always has been for me. I started to help uh, with scheduling some rehearsals and some shows, and that's how I became the Associate Artistic Director at the company. To watch that for several years and then to become an official part of it is monumental for me. What does Fantasy Theatre Factory mean to me, FTF? Um, Gosh, there, there's a lot of depth to it, you know, because there's a 40-year history to it, 40-year plus. As a company, you know, we really, we're really big on two things. That's excellence and access. One of the things that I adore about working for Fantasy Theatre Factory is the immediate response that we get from the audience. Fantasy Theatre Factory means to me freedom. You know, I don't want to say anything as hokey as it's a family. Um, because we're far more than that. You know, we're really a team. Uh, we support each other in our work and with the mission and the vision of fulfilling what we've said we were going to do. Because we deal with early childhood education, in a lot of instances, we're the first impressions that most children get, the first opportunity they get to express themselves, the first real one-on-one -on -one interaction they get on their level where they can respond to. So for me, knowing how much the programs we offer mean to the community, Fantasy Theatre Factory to me is everything. It's my opportunity to give back. It's my opportunity to relive my childhood. And then again, it's an opportunity for me to stand in some of those gaps where there may be, some of those spaces where there may be gaps. So for me, simply Fantasy Theatre Factory is everything. Whenever we go and do one of our outreach programs, which means going to a school, a community center, a park, and we perform for children, for families, immediately after the show, I get a response, love, affection, children just coming to you and telling you, hey, you are the best actor I've ever seen in my life. Thank you so much for being here. It is just such a pleasant feeling to know that you are doing something, you're changing people's mind, you are giving them happiness for those 45 minutes or one hour of shows that uh, we do. Or over here at the Central Rivers Theatre, immediately after the show, we have audience members coming to me and saying, thank you so much, this place is beautiful, you guys are amazing, the shows are great. And it's so nice to feel that the audience enjoys and likes what you do and that's what we're here for. We're here to bring joy, theater, magic to everyone. So you combine those two things, you combine you know the excellence and the access and that's what I think about uh, Fantasy Theater Factory. We're all about expanding access to great arts and cultural experiences to as many people as possible and making sure that they're having just a, a wonderful experience and that we're being good ambassadors of the arts uh, to those people that we serve, uh, especially knowing that we serve a lot of children and families. We're many kids, we're their first experience with theater and we want to create lifelong converts. So that's what fantasy theater is to me. And together we are the, the Fantasy, fantasy theater, theater Factory. factory.